guys welcome to my 10th YouTube tutorial so today I'm doing a dragon makeup to celebrate the new season of Game of Thrones coming out tonight and I'm starting this makeup by using a white tag and a small round brush and I'm just outlining where I want my dragon mask to go I don't normally outline my makeups, but today we're going to be using some special effects and some uh, prosthetic appliances. So I want to just work out where I'm going to be putting my paint so that I can leave those areas out. I'm also outlining the middle area of my neck just so that I get a nice even strip in the middle of it. Okay, so now using my badass stencil, I'm just holding that onto my face. You might want to have a friend help you out with this. And I'm using our very own um, FX paste. FX paste is like a really thick latex, so you can just spread it through the stencil. And as you take the stencil off, you'll get a really nice scaly texture. I'm also applying some onto my cheekbones and a little bit onto the neck. Now you can go in with a little spatula and you can just add a couple of extra little scaly bits just for areas that were a bit tricky with the stencil. So before you start painting you want to make sure that your latex is completely dry. As you can see, my latex has gone a bit darker, and so that means that it's completely dry. Now I'm just going in with a face painting sponge and a dark blue body paint. You can also use a brush uh, just to get a nice clean outline. Now I'm just going in with my little flat brush and I am using a tag orange to fill in the eye area. And using a number 12 flat brush I'm also filling in the neck area that I left out. I'm going in with a black tag but as you'll see soon I actually changed to using a dark red just because the black is a little bit too intense for now but I'm just darkening out the eye area. I'm using a flat Louis Cornell face painting brush to put on the colour and then I'm just using a face painting sponge just to blend that colour into the orange. I'm going underneath the eye as well but I do want some of that orange to stay there so don't completely cover it. Now 
Now I'm going in with a light blue body paint and I'm just making that frown line brow stick out. I'm also using this light blue to start creating some little highlights for my frown lines and also creating some little scaly bits around the eyes. Using a black tag, I'm now making my dragon nostrils and I'm going to be using that same light blue to highlight them. Before I start adding any extra detail to the face, I'm now starting to add some shading onto the neck. So here I'm using my dark red body paint and I'm just mapping out my little ridges for that middle part of my neck. I'm using a bit of bright red to blend in that dark red colour and then I'm going over that again with some of that orange that I initially used. While I still have my orange out, I'm actually just adding a little bit more orange onto my eyes just to make them pop out a little bit more. So now I've put some Prozade adhesive onto my horns and I'm just stamping the glue onto the areas where I'm going to be sticking the horns down and then I'm just letting it dry for about 5 minutes. Now that the horns have dried a little bit and so has the glue on my face, it's a lot more sticky and the horns will stay on a lot better. Using a black tag, I'm now going in around the horns and I'm doing a little bit of black shading just to blend them into the makeup. Using the same black tag body paint, I am now going in around the eyes and I'm really getting in there and filling in those little shadows. Now I realize that I want my scales to stand out a little bit more so I'm just going in again with a very light blue face paint and I'm just putting a little bit onto my scales. Before I start adding any other details to the bottom of my mask I'm just covering the bottom of my face with a very light foundation. And now I'm going in again with a black tag and creating some cool little sharp pointy bits. They could be horns or kind of like teethy things. They just kind of finish off the mask and make it look a little bit more dark. Back 
back onto the neck. I am now just highlighting those little scales that I've done just with um, some of that light blue tag face paint. And I'm just using a very dry sponge and I'm just going over them. To finish off the neck area, I'm kind of doing the same effect as what I did to the bottom of the mask by creating those cool spiky horns. So now it's time for the highlights. So for this I am using a tag white and a number two Louis Cornell brush. And I'm just going in around the eyes to make everything look a little bit more shiny and to make it pop out a little more. some highlights on the neck as well just to give it a little bit of a glossy effect. To give my mask a bit more of a 3D effect, I'm going in with my brown star blend and I'm just giving a little shadow to my mask. For the last step, I'm now using my favorite gold powder and mixing liquid combo and I'm using that on all the little spiky bits and on my horns. Now off camera I have done my lips and I've also put in some very cool contact lenses and that's my dragon all done. I hope you guys try out this makeup for your next Game of Thrones themed party, but if not I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys next time.